Hello everybody. I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, as you can see, a little bit of a different position. This is my makeup position. Uh, I thought I would try something. Actually, okay, my brain just got confuddled, completely confuddled. So first I'm going to say, welcome to my channel. Leave me a comment, like my video, and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget the bell. So, as you can see, I hope, and it's not too brutal, I have my all my face products on. I was going to put lipstick on, but I completely forgot, so we'll deal with that later. Now, yesterday, I finally tackled my very scary palette. This is supposed to be a dupe for, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a Natasha Denona palette, and it's only mattes only mattes as you can tell only mattes no shimmers very scary for me and yesterday i actually did a look with this palette and i loved it i would have done a video yesterday but one thing or another kept interfering and so i just didn't and it's not a bad thing because <laughs> this eye kept watering so half of my eyeshadow here, it was just not there. <laughs> it hit my eye, kept watering. I kept trying to fix it, kept watering, kept, I gave up and my eye continued to water until I took my makeup off. So yesterday I did, I'm trying not to glare at you here. I did this, I did this, and I did this. And I thought it looked great. So today, I thought, okay, I managed to do one nice look. Well, this eye looked absolutely gorgeous. This eye was just... <laughs> and, uh, sorry. Oh, I can't see. There we go. So I thought, okay, let's try something again. Now, I'm not going to do purples. Not this time. I know these are different purples than what I have, but I know I can do purples, so I'm not going to touch those purples. So I thought, okay, let me try this one, this one, and this one. Let's see what happens. What have I got to lose? Maybe not posting a video. <laughs> no, I don't want to post this. Even mistakes should be posted because it can be funny. So here we go. I don't know how long it's going to take, but it's going to take what it's going to take. And hopefully you guys do not get totally bored to tears. So, I have to go to the post office after I chat with my husband because he can only chat during his breaks because work in construction. Even if I texted him or called him, he wouldn't hear his phone. There's no way. So, <laughs> his breaks are the only time. So, after I, ch I chat with my husband, I'm going to the post office and I'm going to get my brushes. I believe that's what is at the post office, my whole set of Bedillion brushes. So if that's there tomorrow, exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm looking so forward to it. So yes, I do have a few, but it's not the whole set. So there we go. My favorite one, I'm going to, I've put on the Milani um, eye primer. I even did that. So the first thing I'm going to do is, unfortunately, these do not have names. So I'm going to use this one. And here we go. I should have brought a light on this side. <laughs> okay. This palette is very nice. I, I like the shadows in this palette. They are a little powdery, but... I find that they blend well. Now, I can just imagine if somebody who is an expert and actually knows what they're doing would say, but I think they blend quite well. Now, I'm going to use the same brush after I just scrubbed it a little bit, and I'm going to try this color as my crease. Let us try that. Let's see what happens. It's only makeup. It's only makeup. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do it this way because I can s Okay, I'm going to do this eye this way because I can see it better. Ooh, that is... I mean, look at how pigmented that is. 
like I barely touched it. And this is C Color Cosmetics. This is, I think it was 12 or $14. I can't even remember. I wish I could buy some alter egos, but they don't ship to Canada. So it's, it's frustrating because they came out with two new beautiful palettes that I would love to get, but they don't ship to Canada. Alter ego, I want those palettes, the last two. <laughs> you know what? I'm liking this so far. It's not like... <laughs> Wow! Yeah, let me try another. Uh, barely, look at this. Ugh. I can just imagine how good the Natasha Denona palette would be. Wow. This is just one dip. Tap. That's it. Okay, now the scary part for me is going to be this one. It's not very dark. Okay, now I'm going to try this one. It's not very dark, but I have to wash this. I used it yesterday, so I'm going to have to use the other side. Okay, let's see. Look at the, Okay, that was three taps. <laughs> Let us see what happens here. In the corner. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, let's see now. Can, do I have enough? No, okay, so I'm gonna do the other side. I hope you guys can see that I'm not in your way. I've actually got the curtains open in my room for a change. <laughs> That's not something that, oh, look at that, that one. Turned out a lot better. Oh, wow. Usually it's the right side that turns out so much better. Oh, I'm scared to do too much there. Oh, wow. See, I can pretty much do anything I want with my eyes because I'm wearing black and white today. And it's minus 15 outside right now it's probably minus 20 25 with the wind chill uh and with the wind chill it's i'm talking celsius and minus 25 with the wind chill is probably fairly close to the same in celsius in a fahrenheit i mean okay let's see now i want to do a little bit more in the crease without messing up the corner which I like which I tend to mess up if I play with it too much but I need to fix this one there we go hope you guys can see that I do need to do more makeup videos to show you guys that I hope I'm getting better. I mean, every time I do my makeup with a palette that I know I can use properly, I get proud of myself because I think it looks better and better. And you know what I'm going to do now? Not a ting. <laughs> this is... Yeah, I'm putting that down. So what I'm going to do is take... This is actually... A balm little brush that I got and it's really nice I'm gonna take that darker shade that orange and do that I want to fix the lighter color on my eyelid make it a little more prominent you guys ever do that stick your brush in your eyeball doesn't uh, doesn't feel nice oh wow see this is why I have gotten rid of so many eyeshadow palettes 
and I'm glad I didn't get rid of this one. I knew I had to try it at least once before I decided what to do with it. And that's why I forced myself yesterday. I said, no, you're doing it at least once and we'll go from there. Oh, wow. Okay, this palette is not going anywhere. The only time this palette is gonna go anywhere is if somebody gives me the Natasha Denona. <laughs> And we know that's not going to happen. So, okay, so I'm taking the light, light, light ivory shade again. And I'm going to go from the inner corner to the middle. There. The inner corner to the middle. Alrighty then. I like that. Still got a little bit. I'm going to put that under the brow. Under the brow. That's enough. That is enough. But I am going to take my nude from Essence and put a little bit in my waterline. Yesterday I put black, but I got to find a better black than my age rewind because that one just uh it just melts everywhere and it it uh, doesn't go on easily and i'm always poking my eyeball so this one is probably going to get out of my project pan let's see how much i've used uh, not enough. Okay, well, my daughter can take this. She can cut off the tip and then she'll be fine because that's going to be a big waste. So I'm not going to waste that. And I'm just going to fix that. Yeah, I need, I need a, a waterproof eyeliner to put in for my waterline. So that's why I love my project pan. I love it. I love it. I love it. Alrighty then. That is the that. I think this week I'm going to do a video on how Jamie Genevieve showed me how to wash brushes. I've got some brushes that are in desperate need of cleaning because it's been a couple of weeks. And uh, I'm going to have to do more colors now because oh, <laughs> I am loving it. This is the person who is scared of mats. And the worst part about that is I shouldn't be because before, my, before I got sick, which prompted me to discover makeup, I used to do my makeup every day. I had one palette. I had one purple Estee Lauder palette and it was all mattes. I don't for the life of me remember how I used to do my makeup. That That is just gone out of my memory. It's almost as if it was only muscle memory. So I really technically should not be scared of mattes because that's all I used before. But for some reason, since I discovered shimmers, and I found shimmers were easy because it hides a plethora of mistakes. <laughs> I got scared of mats, which makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. And I, I love shimmers. I, unfortunately, uh, for highlighters, I can't use a powder highlighter much on my cheeks I can't buy one because if I buy one and and I can't use it I'm stuck with it and then I have to give it to my daughter well it's like okay Megan <laughs> girls <laughs> I've given you enough makeup so unless it comes in boxy charm uh, or it's a liquid or a cream I can't 
I can't buy highlighters anymore. Can't do. I can't do. I I, I can't. I can't do the um, the powders because it's like sandpaper on my face, and it's so sad because I love highlighter. I love looking like a disco ball, even though for my age it's not a good look. I don't care. I'm 53, not dead. Like today, yeah, I'm pretty shiny. I used uh, my Hourglass cream because it's in my project pan and I would like to pan it because I've got some other liquids and, and creams to use up. I still have a couple of powders, ones that I have discovered are okay but I would use it only one day out of three so and oh and the other thing I can't remember if I mentioned this before but I had seen a couple of people using finishing powders I don't have an hourglass finishing powder but this apparently is a good dupe for the hourglass finishing powder I love it. I tend to be a little heavy-handed with blush and bronzer. And it it diffuses it. I love it. I love it. So no matter how heavy-handed I am, I, I hope <laughs> you guys see it as diffused as I do. I love this thing. And look, there's like, I've been using it since mid to late December. And I've barely touched on anything. I haven't weighed it yet. That's going to be the first week of February. I'm going to weigh everything and let you guys know. If for three, four dollars, yeah. Like if uh, if this is showing me that I've used three or four grams or whatever, I'm going to buy backup. It's that simple because I'm going to have to have one forever and ever. I'm in. Okay, so my my um, mascara is the Butter London Power Up. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's been sitting for a while because it came in BoxyCharm and it is a tad dry, but even then it's not too bad. So now what I'm going to do is look for what I've been doing. <sighs> Shake my head. Okay. What I've been trying to do is use up some uh, lip liners. So I got this appeal in a BoxyCharm and it's very soft. So as I'm sharpening it, and then I'm trying to find, I think I'm gonna use this lip gloss this time, unless this one, well, you know what? I'm gonna use my lip oil, because I'm gonna have to have a mask on. So this might stay, may or may not, I mean, look at this. Look at how soft that is. I barely touched it. Like, two more weeks, this will be done. That's how soft it is. But it gives me a little bit of color under my lip glosses because I don't like using lip gloss. Ah, it doesn't stay on. The other thing I got to figure out is how to get more subscribers. I've got you guys and I love you. I love you, love you, love you. And I'm so grateful for you guys being subscribers. But I'm greedy. I want more. <laughs> I'm a succubus. I need adulation. <laughs> but no, it, it, and... Uh, so I'm trying to figure out how I've been watching videos on, on things to do on YouTube to try and get more viewers, more this, more that. And I think I've been trying to do everything, but I don't know. I'm too...
yeah, lip oil, I think, is the way to go because it is so cold. And then when I get home, I'll just put keep putting balm on. There we go. There we go. Now all I need to do is my hair. Give it a brushing. <laughs> I just put it up when I went in my shower because <laughs> it's not wash day. And there we go. I hope you like this look as much as I do. I've impressed myself. I like doing that. I like discovering that I can do something. It's nice. And it uh, cements the fact that I, I'm, I'm glad I bought it. I also, oh, I'm so anxious to get this. It should be here this week. I got, I ordered from uh, Poshmark, Tati Beauty. I have been wanting that palette since it came out, but very expensive. Now, I understand the fact that I keep saying that I can't use a palette with more than nine, but this one, you have rows. It's like, okay, I can dismiss all of these and I just work on the pinks or I just work on the purples or uh, 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 orange or neutrals or black. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am so anxious to get it. I'm like, yes. My one purchase for the month. And uh, unfortunately, I still can't do... I still can't do a ColourPop shop. And I don't think I can do it next month. Hopefully, two or three months from now, I'll be able to put in a ColourPop order. It's just, I don't want to do a big... It, it's going to have to be in a few orders because I have to pay duty. So if I put in the full order that's in my basket now, which is about $400, give or take, uh, translated to Canadian dollars, I'm probably going to have to pay $200 duties. So that's a lot of money. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to do it in four tries. <laughs> Oh, thank you for listening to me rant and rave and babble and looking at my attempts to do what I think is a beautiful makeup look, and I hope you agree. Thank you for coming once again. Please leave me a comment, like my video, subscribe to my channel. A bientôt!